Northwestern State has seen positive changes over the past few months. The Demons and Lady Demons have found a way to win, and the success is golden. I tell you, we've had a great fall so far, and, 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 and we're not done. You know, I think you, you talk about soccer specifically. Um, we're, we're number two in the conference. We'll probably hopefully end there. Football, 3-0, and as you mentioned, the conference uh, is huge. Um, the two home games that we've had conference-wise have been great. Beating them, coming back and beating Lamar and, and, and beating uh, Nichols on, in the last second and, and getting an onside kick and all that stuff. So it's been, it's been a whirlwind. Since his hiring in January, Boston helped NSU raise over $2 million geared towards fixing facilities. We've got a lot of stuff accomplished. Um, you know, I'm, I'm excited about where we're at and, and where we want to go. And, and, you know, the culture I've tried to create and, and want to create is – you know, it's all hands on deck. Everybody's in this together, and we're going to do whatever it takes to, to be successful. And for the first time in a long time, Northwestern State football has found their way at the top of the Southland Conference at the right time. I thought you saw there a, a mature team come together and, and um, you know, control the things that they can control, overcome the adversity. And, uh, you know, I thought our players did a great job of executing what we needed to do to get a road win in the conference. Northwestern State notches their first 3-0 conference start since 2002 after beating Houston Christian on Saturday. They face a tough SEMO team this weekend that's nationally ranked in the FCS, but as Coach Brad Lair says, they take it one game at a time. Southeast Missouri coming in 5-1, uh, ranked you know top 15, has had some big wins in the FCS. Um, you know, so you're seeing a, a, a good football team come to your place, and I think that's, uh, you know, this time of year, that's what you want. Leading the charge is Zachary Clement, a former state champion, finally finding his footing, and the fans are starting to notice. Like, I, I worked at the golf course this summer, and the, the guy that owns the golf course told me he hadn't come to a game in, since, like, 2004. So it, I was like, you know, be able to have people come to the games and be excited to watch us play, you know, that's really big time for the community. As the Demons get set for homecoming this weekend, the focus is simple, play to win. For NSU TV News, I'm Colin Vidros.